I don't care. It's one nil. If we keep down, thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. And it is time for your Leicester City versus Leeds United post-match chat. Leeds United pick up three points to a team that was impenetrable. One loss. You never lose. We're on a you know, record-breaking championship side, all that jazz. Leeds United made them look ordinary. Two goals a game they were scoring. Nah, nah, not tonight. I don't know what their XG is, but not a lot. You know, Ilya Melier, Iceman. We're going to talk about him. We're going to talk about him. We're also going to be talking about Keenan Dewsbury Hall and Harry Wanks. Um, him and Ampadu can never, ever, ever be discussed in the same conversation again. 10 million, you know. 10 million. Where was he? I don't know. I've had to listen to people gushing over Keenan Dewsbury Hall. Now, don't get me wrong. He's a top, top player. One of the best players in the league. I don't see hear the same love for Rutter. I don't hear the same love for Somerville. I heard from a very reputable championship podcast that this guy would get an England call-up. That's genuinely what I heard. Well, he must have been at St. George's Park tonight because he weren't on that football pitch. Where was he? I do not know. Yesterday's preview. I had to spend 10 minutes defending Ilian Melier. Worst goalkeeper. 15 better than him in the league, I'm told. Oh, there's so many better keepers than him. Unbelievable tonight. What a save. On the ball as well, distribution. Some people said I would... His distribution's fine. People talk about Hermanson being the best goalkeeper in the league. That guy's distribution's pish. Pish. So don't talk to me about Melier, please. Ever again. Never, ever again. Never again. Nah, nah. You're not doing it. Um, Listen, Leeds United went there. First half was pretty even. Second half, all leads. Daniel Farker. Again, Maresca. Pet Mart 2. Daniel Farker out-tapped it to him tonight. Second half, they were, they were nowhere. They were nowhere. Maresca thought we were going to put, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, in the second half, the wingers dropped back and doubled up on their on their wingers. We had Somerville and Byram doubling up on uh, Fatou, who, by the way, Fatou, top player, you know, cupped Byram in the first half, went missing in the second. Mavadidi, again, Archie Gray. I, I remember Leeds fans the other week against Stoke saying, he is not a right back. Yeah, he can play right back into a sufficient level. And while Spence is out, he's the best we've got. And again, he grew into the game like he has done in previous games. I had someone telling me earlier on that he's only had one good game. I don't know what they're watching. You know, I genuinely do not know what they're watching. Now, listen, folks, I'm not going to sit here and say that Leicester City are a bad side. They're not by any stretch of the imagination. They're going to win the league. But Leeds United came tonight and made them look ordinary at times. Do you know what I mean? We were the better side. I don't think you'll find a Leicester City fan that's going to sit there and say that... Leeds United didn't deserve all three. Apart from Maresca, apparently he feels it, you know. But that's it's just talking shy. Obviously, he's going to say that. Second half, we dominated. Dominated. Um, Gio Rutter obviously comes up. Listen, if Gio Rutter could finish, he's he's unbelievable. Like, we know that anyway. He's, he's, he's a complete technician. Great on the ball. Can create chances out of nothing. There was one moment in the first half where he turned Wout Fess. Again, best centre-back in the league. No, not by any stretch of the imagination. Joe Rodon was heading stuff with his nose tonight. Him and Strout were colossal. Colossal. Of course, the full-back struggled in the first half. Second half, they got protection from Somerville and James. Totally different second half. Leeds dominated, as we've seen. Um, you know, uh, Piro, yeah, Piro goes missing. We, we know this. We, we need a number 10. We had Amiri chatting and apparently saying, oh, I wish I'd have moved to Leeds. He's sacked off his agent and all that. Well, tough shit, mate. I wish you had have done, though, to be honest, because we do need a specialist number 10. Um, Rutter was great against Somerville. Dangerous. Somerville could have had uh, a chance. He was brought down. I think both penalties, maybe on reflection, would be soft if they'd have been given. Um, but Leeds always looked the better. And it, it, Listen, Locks, you all know Locks Lester, and he told me as such. You know, After five minutes, he thought they were going to get battered. Leeds United started, and that's the main thing. We have started notoriously slow under Farker, especially away from home. Not tonight. He knew to get after them from minute one. And we did that, and we shook them up. We shook them up. Of course, they got into the game and started to see a lot of possession, but at the end of the 90 minutes, Leeds fully deserved it. And do you know what? Let's talk about Melia. I know I've already done it, right? 
I don't understand why people think he's a, he's a terrible keeper. You've got to put into context what happened last season and the defence that he was in front of. But tonight, and this is the sign of a good keeper, you can have a quiet afternoon, which is what he did. He didn't get tested, not as much as Hermanson. He wasn't as busy as Hermanson. And then the one moment, I mean, Luke Ayling probably shouldn't get caught by Dewsbury Hall. I don't know how he's managed to do it. But Dewsbury Hall gets a header. It's going top bins. And Melier puts it onto the post. It's an unbelievable save. I, I just thought he'd hit the post. When you see it back, it's a big hand. Big hand. And Melier's getting pushed to the front by all the players at the end of the game. Get all the applauses. Get all the praise. I mean, Rutter scored. Like I said, Rutter couldn't miss. Rutter needs to improve on his finishing. He hits the ball like Manan would. There's no power. There's no pace in it. It's scuffed shots. I do rate him. You know I do. No one. He's the best player we've got, probably. Um, but his finishing leaves a lot to be desired. But, you know, great ball in from James. James, OK, wasn't amazing, but had a good game. Some of all was good. You know, the, the ball comes in and, and it, what a header. I've said, and I'll say it over and over again, there were people, remember, who, who bemoaned this Byram signing. You know you are. You, you know, crazy talk. Crazy talk, he's been phenomenal. And uh, he gets a header. He's great in the air. Good save by Hermanson. Drops to Rutter. Rutter can't miss. He's onside. James Justin dying to, for him to be off, but he's on. You know, and I, and we've got to mention because he probably will go under the radar, but he got the man of the match tonight from Sky and well deserved. I think Glenn Kamara. Glenn Kamara. People said this was a pull by. What a signing he's been. And he gets better and better at this level. Is there many better? This is what I mean. We're talking about we're talking about Winks and Ampadu. You know, Kamara's better than the lot. Kamara was unbelievable tonight. Now, I will say also, Pereira was for them. And add Leicester one, Pereira gets the man of the match. I think he was great. Without him tonight, it's different. You know? But Glenn Kamara, what a signing. Five million. Why did it take so long? Why were we messing about? <laughs> Madness. Great signing. What a player. He was so powerful tonight. Kazadei, terrible. Was really poor. And, and like I say, Kamara pocketed him. He put Vardy on the weights at times. Just two a man, bar Mavadidi in spells and that whole first half from Fatawu, Leeds were better in every area. Better in every area. Better at centre-back, better at full-back, you know, all this sort of stuff. What I will say, I really enjoyed Leicester. You know, I really enjoyed Ricardo Pereira. I liked the setup. I liked when, you know, Pereira comes into midfield, then they have a back three. It was good. It was a tough game. It was an exciting game. It was a tactical game. It was, you know, hectic from minute one. You couldn't, you couldn't sit. It went like that, but that's what you like. Two top teams at the top end of the championship. Now, of course, Leicester have a massive gap. We're not worrying about that. Please, and I'll say it because we need him to win. Please, Waza. <laughs> I call you Waza. Go and beat Ipswich. I don't think he will, but imagine he did. Then we can start to really... I said this was a must-win game. I was told no, but, you know, had we lost tonight, it looks, it looks so far away. But going to Leicester... We've only been beaten by Hull, by the way, and beating them 1 0. We're loving it, aren't we? Great performance. Great performance, great win. And we were better than them in every single area tonight. Every single area. And I don't think many Leicester fans, if they're being honest with themselves, will disagree with that. And nor should they. I mean, there's not much more than I can say. You know, there's not much more than I can say. We've given ourselves the chance to obviously chase down the top two. Hopefully, Waza can, uh, can get us three points. Um, you know, against Ipswich, but tonight, tonight, Leeds United showed, Daniel Farker showed, the team showed to a man, not one player, not one player, and from that Leicester side gets in this Leeds side, <laughs> we're bouncing out, we were cooking on gas, I'm here for it, Locks is a shit house. bottled it, Leeds United did not and said, you know what, we'll beat Ipswich, we'll beat Leicester, now the rest of the division need to do the same, the rest of the division need to do the same, Plymouth next week, beat them. Then we've got the international break. Daniel Farkas, Barmy Army and all that jazz. He is the championship man. Championship man. It ain't over, baby. It ain't over. <laughs> Listen, thanks as always for watching. Make sure you check out Fantasy 5 and Cool Media. Links are in the description. Smash me a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in. Hit the notification bell and all that jazz. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. I don't care. Do we it's one nil. No, if we keep do down. We do it if they could, 13th they in the do championship. The takeover happened as I said it would. People will be... Oh, when, when have we got leads?